đi em Cảm ơn đi Cảm ơn anh Cảm ơn anh What's going on YouTube? My name is Mim Fanboy. So um, I've been off YouTube for quite a while now, and I decided to make a return by um, um, by unboxing a new lot of phones. So I just recently purchased this lot of phone, or lot of four, for two hundred thousand Vietnam dong, which is about ten dollars. Um, it's a part was from the same seller that sell me nine phone um, a while back. So. Um, he actually shipped this one to me, so I'm going to uh, unbox this right away. So um, let's get started. I have a scissor right here to um, cut the wrapping material. Okay, so it looks like uh, some bubble wrap. It doesn't feel like I'm going to keep this a box either, so... Oh, I then I... I might have to figure out how what I can do. Right? So here's the phone, and I want to get grade the box real quick. And I'm going to take the bottle wrap off. And I actually purchased for um, kind of cool phone. Um. So yeah. So I can see four phone right away. Um, I want to um, start with the one. Um, let's see which one should I start first. Um, let's see, pack pretty full here. Um, so um, we have for us um, let's unbox this first a bit further. Okay, so it looks like we have the first two phone, uh, which I will show later. Here we go, here are the four phones I purchased this time. Let's get started. So um, let's start with the one that I paid the cheapest one. This is, is some sort of Samsung. It is a it is some Samsung on any call. It should say a model number. SGHX um, 688. So this is a CD GSM phone. I was first thought it was a it was a G CDMA phone. Um, it's in rough condition, and I paid the least for them. This um, this is one dollar. This is, these are two dollars two dollars fifty each, and this one is four dollars. Uh, I so next phone is really scratch out this one. This is some uh, Sony Ericsson. Um, it's made really struck up this one for some reason. J100i. Um, it's a very cheap little phone. Um, let's see, how do you take the back cover off of this one? There we go. I do have the battery for this one. Same for that Samsung. Man, I may have to figure out how to um, um, close the back cover of this, this thing. Okay, I will test those lot later. Here's a very special Nokia. Uh, now, not just a normal Nokia. This is actually a CDMA Nokia phone. I haven't um, uh, see the model number. Um, here's how the back you can take it up. Do, I do have a battery for this one. This is a Nokia 1506. I'm not sure if this even document online. Uh, it may be, but yeah, it take um, some standard B or 5C battery, so we'll be able to test it. And here's the one that I really wanted to do for my collection because 
just how rare this is. Um, I couldn't find any information of it online. This is an LG on Movie Star. So I believe this is a Spaniel phone. Um, it doesn't say anything, and I might have to um, food test it to um, because I don't have this type of battery. I may have a connector away, but I'm not sure. So yeah, those are the four phones I got today. Um, I want to test this some of these first. Uh, let's start with um, let's start with this one first. Where this one have no hope all. Um, this one, what type of battery this one take? Uh, this is standard Samsung battery. So I have this any code phone I got from the last lot. Um, I'm gonna take that. Um, let's see what's name got it. Um, I got a um, Viettel card in it. So let me plug it in. See what's the problem. He said there is a problem with this one. X8688. It looks like I go. This looks like I found the problem right away. It is boot looping. Damn, that's unfortunate. But eh, at least um got this really cool phone. And the next one I want to test is the Sony Ericsson um J one hundred J one ten i. This one I do have a battery for this one as well. It um I'm wanting to put a um, Viettel SIM card in here. And and this is the Sony I got from the last um, flea market lot. Um, I'm actually going to take the battery of this one and put it in to test it out. He said this one turned on, but he haven't tested fully. There we go. It's turned on. Just crash up. You might have a passcode. Nope, it doesn't. It's in bad condition, but at least it does actually um, turn on. Set in English. Okay, so it's a very basic Sony Ericsson phone. Despite being scratched up, it still actually turned on. Now ready to use. Um, okay, um, so I want to let that on because that because I might have to um, do a further test on it. Um, but first, let's come to this Nokia. Now this Nokia, I may have to take a an SCDMA SIM card, um, which is um, this one. This is the only CDMA card of this one. But I'm not sure if um, I can. I could be able to um, test that. Um, let's see. Do you have a VL5C by right away? Um, here's a Nokia I got from the last lot. Um, I decided to uh, take a um, charge, one of the battery charge, to see if this turn on, and it does. Hopefully, it's not locked. And yeah, it is a working device. Mm. So, okay. Oh, it's in Chinese, so I might have to um, reset it to um, English soon. Uh, I, will, I will come up to this one later on. But for now, I consider this one to be a working device. So yeah, two working devices. The Sony and the Nokia. This one just boot loops. And I'm, I'm going to grab a, uh, let's see, do we have a battery for this one? Uh, maybe, uh, let's see. Um, I might have to grab one, one battery to just to test it. Um, let's see, which battery should I do? Let's see this one. Oh, I had to grab a SIM card too. He said this one's unlocked, so it doesn't say any, um, movie star so I might have to grab the battery and we will come back hey guys it is the next day and I have done testing all these four phones and I and I will show you the phone that works the phone that doesn't so this Samsung it just put lips the X688 it just put loop and that's it it's going to do that that that's only it did, did um four hours this Sony Ericsson, though in bad condition, it does turn on. I was able to reset it. And... 
it is fully functional this is a this is I believe a Chinese phone because the backs have some Chinese um, letter on it and yeah everything works just fine the boat um, here is a Nokia 1208 um, Nokia 1208 um, actually it worked but it's in Chinese and I reset it and set it to English so yeah okay so there's that phone, um, it's, it had a kind of slow startup. Um, it's a very rare CDMA phone. It's actually a um, CDMA, despite being CDMA, it's actually unlocked to all carriers for some reason. And when I put it, because I put a S phone SIM card in it and it works just fine. Um, this um, earpiece is kind of small though, so. Yeah, not much to do with the, that one. I might think of putting Toho song on this one because I think this one has Bluetooth. Uh, as for this LG, I don't have the battery for this one. It takes one really weird connection, but I was able to turn it on using this way. So, this is a Motorola BT50 battery from one of my phones that I got quite recently. Um, so, I was able to. Um, Put a battery against the contact and turn it on. It is not a movie star phone nor an LG phone from the firmware that is, but it's a light art phone. I checked the IMEAN number of this one and it doesn't say anything about LG, which is very weird because. Um, I actually kind of disappointed because I thought it was a movie star phone on, but the film one was flashed to something else. It said light on, and I, I checked the email. It said light on B thirteen hundred. So it's pretty weird, but oh well, it's still a rare phone. So expect a video on that one soon. And yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Um, Overall, oh, well, I'm very really happy with this lot with three working phone and one broken phone. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and see you soon for the next one.